Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at ChatGPT Advanced Data Analysis. Now, Advanced Data Analysis allows us to upload text-rich documents to ChatGPT and have it analyze that information so we can identify trends and get new insights about that data. What we can also do is transform that data, revisualize it and extract that data in different formats. There are a number of file types that we can use the advanced data analysis capabilities with. So for example, we can use PowerPoint presentations, text files, Word documents, and Excel spreadsheets. There are a maximum of 10 documents you can upload at a time for analysis, and each document can be a maximum of 500 megabytes. So without further ado, let's jump into an example of how this can work. So in this example, we're going to take a spreadsheet that I previously downloaded containing a series of data items. We're going to ask ChatGPT Advanced Data Analysis a series of questions in relation to the information that's contained in that spreadsheet. So for this specific example, I downloaded from my Azure platform earlier on a list of all the devices connected to my Azure AD domain with the device name, the operating system, and the operating system version. So we can see in here that for each device, it lists whether it's an Android device, an iOS device, or a Windows device, and the requisite version number. But what I'm really interested in here is how many devices of each OS and each version are attached to my Azure domain. So in ChatGPT, I need to make sure, first of all, that I have the ChatGPT4 slider enabled, and I've also selected Advanced Data Analysis from the dropdown. That will get then give me the capability to attach files to the chat window. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my CSV file containing my devices. I then need to go ahead and ask chat GPT questions about the data that I'm interested in. So the first thing I want to do is I want chat GPT to analyze the data in the spreadsheet and provide me with some high level summary information. Now, what you will notice is when we go through this example, if there's too many variations or for example, the OS version number to summarize, um, chat GPT will take a couple of shortcuts and you'll see what they look like really soon. So we may have to be more specific to get exactly the information we need, but I'll start out asking a fairly high level question in relation to that data. So uh, could you please use the attached file to summarize the total number of iOS, Android, and Windows devices. So let's see what it does here. Now straight away, you can see that it begins the analysis process. It shows that it's working on understanding the data. And if I want to see some more information in relation to what it's doing there, I can open up the working and see some of that. So it's come back and told me there are three columns in the CSV file, a display name, an operating system, and an operating system version. And it seems to have done a pretty good job there of understanding which or what each of those columns mean and summarizing the high level data. So it's telling me I have 456 Windows devices, 239 Android, and 87 iOS, which sounds pretty good so far. But let's say, for example, I'm interested in a further level, level of detail. And what I want to understand is, of those 87 iOS devices, what versions of iOS I'm running on each of those. So I'm going to ask a follow-up question. Please further summarize the version number of the iOS devices. I like to correct any typos and 
then ask the question. So we can see that the advanced data analysis is now going back to CSV file. And there we go, summarizing how many devices I have in each OS version number, which is really useful. But then let's say what would be really helpful is to obtain a file containing that information that I can go on to use elsewhere. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT now to create me a CSV file containing that data. There we have it. It goes away and creates me a CSV file that I can download by clicking on this link. And if I open up that file, I can see there we have my summary data in a CSV format. I can use that then elsewhere if I so wish. So that's just a really easy and straightforward example of how the advanced data analysis can be used. Do subscribe because we'll be producing more videos showing further examples of how we can use advanced data analysis. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a like.